What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Released in 2017 by Disney and Pixar Animation Studios, Coco is one of the most beloved animated films Disney has ever produced. <laughs> The film tells the heartwarming story of a young boy named Miguel who dreams of becoming a musician like his idol, Ernesto de la Cruz. Coco explores themes of family, love and remembrance and celebrates Mexican culture and traditions, particularly the Day of the Dead holiday. Right after its release, the movie was put in the line for a sequel which was set to be released in 2020. Did Disney ever make an official announcement regarding a sequence? Here is everything you need to know about the upcoming or probably upcoming Coco 2 movie. Starting from its release date to its cast and expected storyline, don't forget to watch this video till the end to know every detail. Before we begin, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep yourself updated with our regular uploads. Back in 2020, speculation started surrounding that Disney had already agreed for a sequel to this iconic movie. A video even surfaced on the internet which showed a true father and son bond between the main characters. Fans started predicting expected storylines for its sequel. Well, Disney is very particular when it comes to its movie sequences. Out of all movies in line, Coco was prioritized for a sequel which never came into existence. It was set to be released in October 2020 and soon became one of the movies which were never made. All thanks to the pandemic, Coco was a huge success for Disney, grossing over $807 million worldwide. The film also won numerous awards, including two Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature and Best Original Song. The film had a significant cultural impact, particularly in Mexico and other Latin American countries, where it was celebrated for its respectful portrayal of Mexican culture and traditions. It also had a successful merchandise line, with toys, clothing, and other products featuring the film's characters. The film's soundtrack, which featured original songs and traditional Mexican music, reached number one on the Billboard soundtrack chart and was certified platinum in the United States. With its stunning animation, beautiful music, and powerful storytelling, Coco quickly became a critical and commercial success. The film won two Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature and Best Original Song and was praised for its respectful portrayal of Mexican culture and traditions. It has also inspired numerous art installations, museum exhibitions, and cultural festivals worldwide. Given the success of the film, many fans are eagerly anticipating a sequel to Coco. While there has been no official announcement from Disney and Pixar, director Lee Uncritch has hinted that he would be open to returning to the world of Coco for a sequel. He has stated that there are many other aspects of Mexican culture that he would love to explore in a potential sequel. Additionally, many fans have speculated that a sequel could focus on the character of Dante, Miguel's loyal and lovable dog. Dante has become a fan-favorite character, and his misadventures in the Land of the Dead could provide the basis for a fun and entertaining sequel. Coco is a heartwarming animated movie that celebrates family, music, and Mexican culture. It tells the story of a young boy named Miguel, who lives in a small village in Mexico with his family. The film begins with Miguel's narration, explaining the importance of music in his family and his desire to become a musician like his idol, Ernesto de la Cruz, a legendary singer and actor. However, Miguel's family forbids him from pursuing his passion because of a long-standing family curse that they believe was caused by their musician great-grandfather who abandoned his wife and daughter to pursue his musical career. As the story progresses, Miguel accidentally finds himself transported to the land of the dead, a colorful and vibrant afterlife where he meets his deceased ancestors and discovers the true story behind his family's history. With the help of a charming trickster named Hector, Miguel embarks on an extraordinary journey to find his great-grandfather and lift the curse so that he can return to the land of the living and pursue his passion for music. One of the things that make Coco such a compelling and visually stunning film is its rich and vibrant animation. The film's vivid colors and intricate details bring the land of the dead to life, creating a vibrant and immersive world that captivates the audience's imagination. From the colorful papal Picado banners that decorate the streets to the shimmering glow of the alabrages, the creatures that guide the dead to their destinations, every detail is carefully crafted to create a visually stunning and cohesive world that feels both magical and grounded in Mexican culture. 
Another thing that sets Coco apart is its music. The film features an original score by Michael Giacchino, as well as original songs by Jermaine Franco, Adrian Molina, and Robert Lopez. The music in Coco is an essential part of the film's storytelling, and it blends seamlessly with the animation and voice acting to create a powerful emotional impact. The film's signature song, Remember Me, is a beautiful and haunting ballad that captures the heart of the film's themes of love, loss, and remembrance. But perhaps the most important thing about Coco is the way it celebrates Mexican culture and family traditions. The film takes great care to showcase the beauty and richness of Mexican culture. From the colorful Day of the Dead celebrations to the traditional music and food, the film also addresses the importance of family and the power of love and remembrance. Through Miguel's journey, the audience sees how the past shapes the present and how family connections transcend time and space. The film's portrayal of Mexican culture and traditions is a significant departure from typical Hollywood depictions of Latin American countries, which often rely on stereotypes and tropes. Instead, Coco presents a nuanced and respectful portrayal of Mexican culture, highlighting its beauty and complexity while also acknowledging its struggles and challenges. Moreover, Coco also addresses some challenging themes, such as death and grief, in a way that is both accessible and respectful. The film's portrayal of the afterlife is both whimsical and significant and it presents death as a natural part of life that can be celebrated and remembered rather than feared or ignored. This film celebrates family, music and Mexican culture in a way that is both visually stunning and emotionally resonant. With its rich animation, beautiful music, and powerful storytelling, the film is a testament to the power of cinema to inspire, uplift, and entertain. Through Miguel's journey, the audience is reminded of the importance of family, love, and remembrance, and the film's celebration of Mexican culture is both timely and necessary in a world that often overlooks the beauty and richness of diverse cultures. Coco not only showcases the beauty of Mexican culture but also provides a platform for Latino actors and filmmakers, highlighting the importance of representation in the entertainment industry. The film's success is a testament to its universal themes and appeal. The film's impact has also been felt beyond the entertainment industry, with Coco inspiring art installations, museum exhibitions, and cultural festivals worldwide. Furthermore, Coco has also sparked a renewed interest in the Day of the Dead holiday, which is celebrated celebrated annually on November 1st and 2nd in Mexico and other Latin American countries. Even though there is not any official confirmation from Disney, yet speculated plot has been surfacing the internet lately. Netizens believe that the sequel of Coco will focus on a now 18-year-old Miguel, who now graduated from high school and is a bit down lately due to Mama Coco's death in the first film, so he returns to the Land of the Dead to watch his mother Coco again. Even if a sequel to the movie is made, it is expected to be an announced by later 2023 or early 2024 itself. What do you think? Do let us know in the comments down below if you are excited or a sequel of Coco. How would you like the movie to end? If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Until we see you the next time.